The plot thickens. It's, this is getting silly now. This is this has gone beyond me just being concerned about the situation, and now I'm just angry at the situation. Hey everyone, welcome back to Inspection Zero Zero. Again, there's no script for this. This is an update in regards to the copyright bullshit that's been going on. And I need to update you. And I'm gonna name and shame them because I've had enough of this now. Because it's gone beyond a joke. So 12 of my videos were copyrighted for music that I used in the videos. And that music is Halo music that by Microsoft's own game content usage policy allow me to use in videos that are monetized here on YouTube just like every other content creator is allowed to use them. And these third party companies who have no association or affiliation with Microsoft whatsoever who don't own the copyright claim these videos as being their content and then snatch the revenue away. Now I can contest that and when I contest that it gets that that money gets held for 30 days and they can then they, they get they get what I claim basically I give them the information about the game content use, content content usage policy so I'm just angry I give them that information and then they can basically reject it completely and they still take the money or I can escalate it to a legal level in which case I then have to provide my personal details I have to provide my phone number my address my name um, and a load of other legal information which they get they receive that information. The money is held for a further seven days, and if they do drop the claim, okay, fine, the money releases to me, but it can release up to two months late than it would have, based on where they where they claim during the, the sort of pay the pay run. Um, but they also walk away then with my private information. And if they're if they've got the gall to make fraudulent copyright claims against me for content that they don't own, what are they doing with my private information? I'm sure they wouldn't bat an eyelid about selling that to whomever or whatever the case may be. It might also explain why I'm also getting an escalating number of spam calls at the moment. I'm angry because we had 12 videos that were copyrighted. I contested all of them. Four of them have since released and that was that was a big win. And I've, I've, I've consulted with a legal friend of mine who, who knows about copyright and litigation and all this sort of stuff and we, we built up a kind of a semi-script, so to speak, that can be used as um, a legal claim to put into the YouTube system when they make these claims to basically translate that we know full well the terms of the legal situation here and that they're in contempt of, of, of the copyright laws because they're claiming fraudulently a copyright they don't own. Okay? So we released four. Big win. That's excellent. I've now just been hit with three more. One of which... One of which uses music composed by Rachmaninoff. Piano Concerto number no. 3 in D minor. Most of Rachmaninoff's music was public domain in 1943 when he passed away. And all of the rest of the music has since been released to public domain in 2014. I did the research. So they're claiming against me and taking money away from me for music that's public domain. So it's not it's not just that they want to they want to put forward stupid claims that suggest that they own copyright music that they don't own, but they're also willing to put a copyright claim forward for music that is public domain that has no copyright claim. It's beyond a joke that the system is broken to this degree that these third party companies can snatch away money from people even when they're using public domain music. And considering that the, the names of the companies that are, that are making these claims are the same names over and over again, I can only assume that I'm now being actively targeted. So I've had enough. The names of the companies that are making these claims are UMPG Publishing, Polaris Hub AB, Latin Autoperf, SME, WMG, UMPI, Uniano Brasilia de Editoras de Musica, UBEM, Mint BMG, Pedal, Armor BG, Cobalt Music Publishing, Latin Author, Sony ATV, 
AMRA, Sony Music Publishing, Sony, Sony Music Publishing are claiming Halo Music, which is a Microsoft IP. What? Warner Chappelle, I'm sure other content creators have heard that name before, a Latin author. Why in the hell are companies like this able to make claims against content creators for music that does not belong to them because the copyright belongs to somebody, a, a completely different entity altogether they have no association or affiliation with, whom have given expressed permission in the game content usage policy to use that content? And worse still, how can those same companies make claim against music that is public domain? This is, a, this is, it's beyond, beyond a joke and I'm beyond angry now. The outpouring of support that I got from my from my followers, from you guys, on the previous video, and and the donations that rolled in, and the people that came on board as as patrons and and YouTube members to try to weather the storm, was so humbling and so motivating and just so generous from all of you to make sure that I, I could survive this situation. And it almost feels like a revenge hit that I actually get some of those claims rejected and I get slapped with more but <laughs> also including music that is public domain which is like I said I, ca I can't look at this any other way now I'm being actively targeted by these companies for one reason or another so they can pull the content they can pull the money away from me as a content creator and think that they can just get away with it so all of that, all of this, all of this information, I've compiled all of it. I've spoken to my legal friend. It's all compiled. I'm putting all of this together. I'm sending it to Microsoft because they're ultimately the copyright holders for the vast majority of the content that I'm being counterclaimed against. And I'm speaking to my lawyers because I've had enough of this. I can ill afford it, but I've had enough of this because it seems to me the only way these guys are going to shut the hell up and back off is if they get legal work and legal strength and might forced in their direction. And I'm stunned that Sony Music are on there. I get like weird nameless companies or like jumbles of letters and th companies that don't make a lot of sense. I even kind of understand other YouTube channels. Occasionally that happens. The YouTube algorithm scans the videos that are uploaded and if there's content in it, like say, that, say, there's, say I used content for, for from Halo Legends, for example, if there was content in that um, that was used in another um, another YouTuber's video that predates mine, there's a copyright system which kind of matches that content together and says, oh, t to the other YouTube channel, oh, just so you're aware, some of the content that was in your video is also being used in this video. And of course, anybody with a brainstem can look at that information, look at the situation and go, okay, well, that content is Halo content it's owned by microsoft i don't own the copyrights there's no point in me claiming against it but it does occasionally happen but i've not got a major issue with that because that's quite easy to contesting to get rid of this shit different situation altogether so all of this information is now being compiled and this is being sent off legally because i can only assume now i'm being actively targeted for this some kind of smear campaign. I don't know. But it's beyond a joke that they can contest not just music they don't own, that they don't own the copyright of, but they can contest music that's public domain and take money from me in the process. I've got news for all of those companies. You can't. And you're going to sorely regret that you attempted. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. No, I'm joking. So, thank you. Thank you to... I'm going to chill. Thank you to some of my supporters. Um, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to all the people that have donated and come on board as, as, as YouTube members and, and patrons. It, it's helping immensely. I've still got <laughs> 11. I did have less. I've now got 11 claims against me that I'm contesting. We're working through it. I'm hoping most of these... I'm angry still. I'm hoping most of these 
can be resolved with the, the, the kind of template that myself and my legal friend put together. And if it does, I will make that public. I will make that template available for anyone. So if any, so if any content creator who uploads Halo content to YouTube has any claims against them for any music, you use this template, it works. Okay, I'll make that publicly available. I'll put that on the table right now. Um, and for the um, for these ridiculous ones, the the, the claiming um, music that's in the public domain and the fact that I'm being targeted by the same few companies, the, the whole list I gave you then was names I've seen a lot in these 12 videos. Um, but there are three or four in that that have claimed every single one of the claimed videos. So that, that's being escalated. Because this is, this is an absolute and utter joke that the copyright system is, is in this state. And the fact that I'm sure I'm not the only one who said to YouTube that there's a problem here and that it needs to be fixed. And these small iterative changes that have been made to the copyright system over this time has not been enough. This can still happen. This is still being abused. Or if it's not, if it's not through active abuse, through these companies actively hunting certain content creators out and claiming their content, if it's not like there's actual duress involved in this, then the system itself is broken. That it's allowing that to happen or that it's automatically claiming that against content creators. If you're trying to establish a culture on this platform of content, content creators creating content to be spread far and wide to draw people in so that your advertisers, your big businesses that advertise in all of your ads and this, that and the other, can get their money's worth, you can get your money's worth, and the content creators get their money's worth. If that's what you're trying to establish here, you need to fix this. I apologize for getting... <laughs> I apologize for getting emotionally charged. But this, I'm sh you agree, I've seen you agree. All of my, all of my, my subscribers who have commented on this situation agree this is just beyond a joke and this shouldn't be happening. It's not acceptable. And when I saw this this evening, it got me riled up fast enough that I thought, I can't, you guys need to know. So, and you guys now know. And you've got the list of companies. I'll put them at the top of the video, uh, of the video description as well. And I'll also put them in the pinned comment, the companies that are involved in this. Because I think it's time that they got a bit of exposure. For the wrong reason. Okay, I'm good. I'm calm. <laughs> Take it easy, everyone, and find peace in the domain.